So if you're looking at these vans in electric, which are a Toyota Pro Ace, a Vauxhall Vivaro, a Citroen Dispatch or a Peugeot Expert, they're all the same vans. They come obviously with AC and DC charging, but there is an option on these to upgrade the AC to 11 kilowatt. So the standard charger on these is 7.4 kilowatt AC. And how do you know whether a van you're looking at has got the 11 kilowatt upgrade? Well, what you do is have a look at the charge port. So at the top here is your type two AC charge port. And this is what the 7.4 kilowatt version looks like. And there are no pins in the bottom two holes. If you've got pins there, that means it has got the 11 kilowatt uh, upgrade because then it's three phase charging. So if you don't know, the middle pins here are earth, live and neutral. And if it's the three phase version, you have a two extra uh, pins there for your two extra phases. So if those holes are empty, it's the 7.4 kilowatt standard charger. If those two holes have pins in it, then it has got the upgraded 11 kilowatt charger. So why would you want the 11 kilowatt AC charger? So when you're charging on single phase, i.e. the standard 7.4 kilowatt charger, you're charging at a rate of about 25 miles per hour. So what that means is for every hour your van is charging on an AC charger, you're adding about 25 miles of range. If you've got three phase, then you're gonna add about 39 miles of range per hour of charging. However, that's only applicable if you've got three phase electricity in your building and you have a three phase charger fitted. So three phase chargers uh, will be a 22 kilowatt charger. So that, because that's the maximum speed you get on three phase. Um, but a van like this, if it's got that upgraded charger will only charge to a maximum of 11 kilowatt anyway. Um, so only commercial buildings in the UK will have three phase power. Um, so for most people, there is no advantage of having that upgraded charger in the vehicle. There's very few public sites that have um, 22 kilowatt AC chargers, uh, maybe one or two car parks and maybe the odd hotel. But um, generally you won't be uh, finding those three phase chargers out there on the public network. Um, if you're public charging, you're gonna be rapid charging anyway on the DC connector. This is only for AC. So typically charging overnight uh, when you're not using the vehicle. So unless you're charging at a commercial premises and you have three phase electricity and you fitted a three phase charger, then yes, you're gonna want that upgraded um, 11 kilowatt charging unit in the vehicle because you're gonna charge the van quicker uh, apart from that, everyone else is going to charge at a maximum of 7 or 7.4 kilowatts anyway. So it's going to really have no advantage to you by having a van with that um, faster charger fitted. Um, and actually, even people who are parking at work who've got three phase and a three phase charger fitted, most of the time their charge is going to be overnight anyway. So it makes no difference whether it charges at 25 miles an hour or 39 miles an hour. It's gonna be charged by the morning when they get back in the van. So the reality is there's not many scenarios or not, not many people are gonna um, really need that three phase um, charger upgrade. And all these vans have DC rapid charging. That's on the bottom part. This is a CCS connector and it charges at 100 kilowatt on DC. So um, I hope that helps if you're looking for a used one of these, because other than that, it's very difficult to tell whether it's got that upgraded charger.